Hey guys and welcome to a new guide, Livid Farm Guide, and uh, this is for all you people working for Completionist Cape, and uh, if you guys are struggling on that I guess, I hope this guide helps, and a lot of people have been suggesting this, so I decided to make it. So before I start in the guide I'm going to tell you the requirements, which you require Lunar Diplomacy Quest, and you also need 70 Magic, 60 Agility, 60 Crafting, 60 Farming, and 50 Construction at the minimum, but it is really good to have 91 Magic so you max out your experience and max out your points because if you don't have the mage level for a certain spell like let's say I don't know the exact level but let's say energy transfer is level 90 I think it's around there um, and you have like 85 you won't get the magic experience but you'll get half the points so it is really good to have at least 91 magic so you get the max points per hour and you won't have to be here as long as long as you have to which is around 45 to 50 hours if you guys are wondering so it is a long time and it is good to max out your points and your experience while you're here. Alright, you also might have wondered what is up with my interface. Um, like all my chat is everything, like everything's gone, I guess. Um, the reason for that is that way I can see almost everything in here. Um, sometimes I even shorten the inventory like this, but uh, I think it's fine. Zoom out the farthest you can, and that way you can see everything really great, and then you can do everything in, without rotating your camera and everything like that. And also the space I'm standing at, um, one space east from the the middle uh, farm length thing, whatever, is the perfect spot for Livid Farm because then you can do the patches and you can do the energy transfer for the chillax method that I'm going to go into later. There's two methods I'm showing you, so it's really good that way. So for other things, you need a mud battle staff or a mystic mud staff, which is what I'm wearing. It saves you your earth and water runes, so it saves some money. And then also the constructor outfit, which you get from Temple Trekking, and it gives you 5% more construction experience. So it is good if you're doing the max out method of Livid Farm. Also have a stack of Astro Runes and Nature Runes. Um, you might also need Laws and Cosmics if you want to do the distractions, but I don't do them because they only give you free runes and a little bit of mag magic experience. And I don't think they're worth it, especially because you're only here for the points anyways. So now actually into Livid Farm. Um, as you can see in my inventory, I have all these fence posts. How you get these is you go to the uh, log pile and you take a bunch and then you click them and they turn into fence posts. This is for the construction part of the minigame, which you will only have to do if you're doing the hardcore max out, max points per hour, which is 19k points per hour and you need 850k points to finish the minigame. So it is really slow, but it is the fastest. And my chillax method, which I'll go into after the max out method, is about 12k to 13k per hour, but it is pretty AFK. I play games and uh, edit when I did it, so it was it was actually pretty enjoyable. So once you have your fence post and everything else, here's the start of new wave. So basically, you start on the patches. You can do any order. I just prefer to start in the patches. So just get the three fertilizations ones early, and then uh, now you have to clear, cure the diseased plants. Just match them to the pictures. It's really really simple. Um, if you if you really can't see which um, picture matches whatever. The RuneScape Wikia does have uh, a graph and everything like that to help you for that. So then I move on to fixing the fence, which um, there's two broken fences, so make sure to do both. And then to finish off the wave, um, it's either you have to encourage the Pauline or whatever, or there is produce plants in the bin, which I'll show you on the chillax method probably. So um, what you do is you encourage her and pick the comment or whatever, the dialogue that is most, en most encouraging. I mean, it's common sense. And after a while, you'll memorize which of those things are the ones to pick. So before I do this next wave, because now that you know how to do basic things, um, this produce pile is the other version of the encourage. I think it happens every two or three waves. I don't know. So the produce plant, you just take them and then make sure you have about 10 inventory spaces free. And then what you do is you click the bottom one twice and then you have two bunches and then you put in the trade wagon, which gives you crafting experience. So it's a really easy one and I think it gives you around 120 produce points. So it's pretty good. So that was the max out method. You basically just fertilize these things and do all the plant stuff, get the farming experience, and then either energize first or um, encourage whatever then do the construction or you can do the vice versa depends on your preference um, if it doesn't have the encourage do the plant thing whatever produce pile um, it's a very very simple mini game I, I know I'm not doing like the best in depth I don't really think I should because it is really common sense I guess but people did ask for this guide so uh, might as well do it now that you know the maxed out um, fastest method or whatever I'm gonna show you the rewards quick I'm not really gonna go anything into it but 
So you need um, 850K produce to finish it and mine says 920. It's because I'm done. Um, I guess it actually spends the produce. I didn't really know that. And then once you're done, you can do wishes which are not not worth it at all. Don't even do Livid Farm after you're done, to be honest. Done with the, all the spells. And some of these spells are actually very, very useful. Like remote farming is amazing. Um, the teleport to Trollheim is like one of the best spells, honestly, in Magic. It teleports you right to the Trollheim patch and for farming. So saves you about, I'd say 40 seconds, well, 30, 30, 40 seconds of running every herb run. So it is really awesome. And there's a few other ones that are very useful in here. And before I go into the chillax method of what I do, it is also really, it's also really straightforward. So um, if you get the gist of uh, Livid Farm, I would uh, stop the video after I say this little thing. Um, because it is kind of like the same thing, just a little bit uh, dumbed down, I guess, and more AFK. So a tip I have for you for Livid Farm is um, if you're not maxed right now, do Livid Farm before you're maxed. Because once you're maxed and you don't need experience and skills, like especially farming or magic, um, you're going to hate Livid Farm even more because you're not the experience doesn't matter as much. Um, even if you're going for 200 mils, it would be more important for you to get this little bit of experience, uh, experience to going for 99 than going for 200 mil. From Livid Farm, from getting the comp requirement, you get like uh, 1.5 mil farming and nearly 2 million magic. So you, if you're not 99 in those skills, it does take a big chunk of it out and you get the completionist requirement uh, done before you even have to do it. Because trust me, once you're maxed, you will not want to do this. Um, it took me about a month to actually want to do it. So uh, after that, it was it was really easy. Once you start, it's not that bad, but just starting is the hard part. I would definitely do it if you are going for completionist cape eventually and you're not 99 in certain skills that you do here. So uh, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna just go over my chillax method quick before the video gets too long. So basically what I did was I stood in this spot the entire time and then ev at the start of every wave, um, I maybe started waves um, late because I was doing like other things while I was doing it. Um, sometimes I even missed a wave or something like that around whatever. But uh, I did do a lot of homework during this, so I, my attention was in that. So I didn't really pay attention to this, but it did get a lot of my uh, points without actually me feeling like I did it. So I definitely do something else. If you're a good multitasker, definitely do something else while, while doing this, like Netflix or something. It really, really speeds it up. So the chillax method is I just do the fertilization of the patches and then all the diseased livids or whatever. So that takes about 10 seconds, and then I either do the encourage or the protos pile, and that's it. I just skip the construction. Um, it's really simple. The construction does give you points, obviously, but it's not enough for me to care about it. So it's really up to you, up to you if you want to do the log pile or not. It's I never really liked it. It only gives you 40 points per round, so it's only around 2,400 points per hour. So it's not worth it to me to do all that extra work. So it's really up to you, but um, just remember it's around... Um, I'm going to redo my estimates, probably around 15k per hour if you do every uh, round with my chillax method and then around 19k per hour or something like that with the max um, speed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the guide. Um, thanks for you guys suggesting it um, for me to make. Before I go, uh, comment down some videos you want to see, maybe loot videos, guides, uh, just random videos. I really want some ideas. It keeps me making videos faster and uh, it really helps me in, in the video making process as you probably know. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next video.